during the 97 factory authorized clearance, think about a great year-end deal on Ford Taurus. Now lease for only $265 a month for 24 months with special lease rates. Taurus GL features a V6 engine, automatic, dual airbags, air conditioning, and more. The 97 Taurus clearance. Lease Detroit's best-selling car for just $265 a month. Mom and Dad used to take us to McDonald's every Saturday. We couldn't wait. So, hey, we figured it was time we treated them. And you couldn't pick a better time. Because right now at McDonald's, a juicy hamburger is just 49 cents. A cheeseburger is 59 cents. And a morning fresh sausage biscuit is 69 cents. But time's limited. So hurry to the original. McDonald's. And forget about the cost. Mom and Dad, we've got it covered. Three hot specials at McDonald's. This is the real deal. Cadillac presents Julio Iglesias. Paint your palette blue and gray. October 1st at the Fox With Theater. Night need A night of romance. Just close my eyes and I will. Julio Iglesias. Live in concert. Hurry, get tickets now at the Fox Theater. Ticket masters are charged by phone. October 1st at the Fox. Julio Iglesias. Brought to you by Cadillac. Get your Sunday morning workout right here on 7. First, get moving around the house with Better Homes and Gardens at 6. Followed by Detroit's favorite contractor, Bob Vila, at 6.30. Then at 7, see what Martha's got cooking. And that's not all. A full hour of Action News at 7.30. Good Morning America at 8.30. And at 9.30, Denise Dador brings you Healthy Living Live, Detroit's only interactive health and medical news program. Followed by Matlock and Siskel and Ebert. Get up and get going Sunday mornings on 7. Results of our fan poll. You voted on our webpage. Penn State number one, Washington, Tennessee, North Carolina, Florida. There's Colorado number six, Ohio State seven, Florida State, Nebraska, Miami. How about the next ten, huh? Michigan and Michigan State eleven and twelve, and the rest of them: Notre Dame, Texas, Iowa, VA Tech, Alabama, Stanford, Auburn, and USC. If you want to send in your top twenty picks, maybe you want to ask Paul a question. Check out. The Big Ten take on the sports update program or Channel 7 Sports in general. Visit our webpage, WXYZSports.com. About an hour after the Wolverines kick it off right here against Colorado, not far in East Lansing, Michigan State will host Memphis. And that is a big game for the Spartans trying to go 2-0. Last week, Ann Campbell and the defense looked terrific against Western, but it might be a little tougher against Memphis this afternoon. This isn't a patsy visiting East Lansing today, and the players know it. This team beat Tennessee last year. Uh, even though Tennessee did make some mistakes, uh, doesn't matter. It's just fine. I mean, who got the W in the book? Uh, and it was Memphis. And I'm just going to try to reinforce that and just try to let guys know, hey, I mean, uh, it doesn't matter who we're playing. We should always prepare that we're playing for, you know, national, you know, we're playing the national champs. We're trying to motivate the guys from within. Uh, we don't try to um, motivate strictly from an emotional standpoint. Uh, because I think when you do that, you have a lot of peaks and valleys. And hopefully, if you establish goals and they're important to the players on the team uh, and they understand what they need to do to accomplish those goals, then they'll continue to work and you'll have more consistency and performance, which we haven't had here. We're trying to get it. And just a reminder, next week on the Big Ten Ticket Show, we'll take an in-depth look at the Spartans game against Notre Dame, preview Michigan and Baylor, and of course, Bo will join me live as he does for his opinions on what's going on in college football. That's 11.30 a.m. a week from today, right here on Channel 7. Earlier this week, Michigan President Lee Bollinger made a crucial decision selecting Tom Goss to be the new athletic director succeeding Joe Roberson, and Mr. Goss joins me live right now. The publicity surrounding your arrival has been so incredibly positive. How does it make a guy like you feel? Nervous. <laughs> Quite nervous. It's a tough thing to look up to, live up to when you've got that kind of billing coming into the job, isn't it? Well, you know, there are certain things that I would be prepared to do, and the expectation has been really uh, the standard, the bar has been set, and I just have to come in here and do all the right things. I have a lot of support. And a lot of people want to see this thing get off to a good start. So I'm really 
please with all the support, and I think we will do well. Listen, we've got a picture here from a little bit ago that I'd like you to take a look at and maybe comment on. Who is that guy, huh? <laughs> Boy, he looks good. <laughs> he doesn't have any gray hair either. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Might you anticipate having a few more gray hairs before this, uh, this tenure is over, huh? Well, you know, I think uh, with all the things we have to do, I, I'm just pleased I can be part of all of this. When I heard the fight song play, I basically wanted to leave here and go down there. But I'm glad I didn't go down there. Those guys are a little bit larger today. One of the things you obviously have to deal with, the football team, let's talk about that first. People yes. around here are not very satisfied with losing four games over the last four years. I assume as the incoming AD, you're not happy either. Should Lloyd Carr be concerned? Are you concerned about what's going on with the football program? Well, Lloyd has, in my opinion, uh, probably one of the best team spirits that he's had since he's been head coach. He has a real opportunity to have a lot of success this year. We're behind him this year, and we really want him to do a great job, and I think he will. The bigger problem that you have is the basketball situation, the pending NCAA Pro, the investigation, what's going to come out of that, Steve Fisher, your thoughts on that. Should Steve Fisher be concerned about his job? Well, Michigan is a school of integrity. And that is one of the things that we will have in all our programs. We don't have the report back. I won't prejudge it. I'll look at the information and the issues that we have before us at that time, and we'll make decisions as we go along the road. But Steve has integrity. This school has integrity. And I'm anticipating that uh, the things that we will have to do will please everybody uh, that has any concerns. Tom, there have been conflicting reports in the paper this week about, I don't want to say your stature, but certainly your power, what you can and can't do as you now get this job. Uh, hiring, firing, decision making. Can you set us straight on that a little bit? <laughs> well, you know, I, I didn't read the article, but people told me there was an article in the free press, and basically they said I didn't have any power. Well, actually, Lee Bollinger at the press conference said he didn't want to be athletic director. He hired me because I have all the responsibility to do whatever is needed in this job to get it right. And that's why I came. I was going to say, is it safe for me to assume if you didn't have that kind of power, you wouldn't be sitting here today? That's safe. Yeah, yeah. You've got a great job ahead of you. I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you. Tom Goss, the new athletic director here at the University of Michigan. All right, the Wolverines and the Buffaloes, not far away from kickoff. We'll be back with some final thoughts on the game and, of course, our toughy Tough Guy of the Week when the Big Ten Ticket continues live from Michigan State. Okay, here's your estimate. Are your car dealer mm. service department's prices trying to tell you something? That's a toughie. Is your local garage hinting at where you... Finding the right parts. Should have taken your car. That's a toughie. Next time, take it to toughie. We're specialists with the right parts and the right smarts. And we'll do it at the right price, no matter what kind of car you have. Foreign car, huh? That's a toughie. Toughie Auto Service Centers for brakes, shocks, mufflers, and more. That's easy. That's a toughie. You gotta think forward first, cause you want the best and nothing less. Now during the 97 factory authorized clearance, lease a Ford Explorer for just $306 a month. Explorer offers great features like a powerful V8 engine, automatic, air conditioning, dual airbags, and more. Your Metro Detroit Ford dealers have a great selection during the 97 Explorer clearance. And at only $306 per month, they're going fast. For 31 Metro Detroit Ford dealers, think Ford first. Channel 7's Jerry Hodak. Doppler 7000 is, hands down, the most powerful weather radar in the Midwest. Incredible images of damaging hail, deadly lightning, and severe wind. Maximum tornado warning. That's good, but it's not good enough. When weather gets bad, you need to know what's coming, no matter where you are. That's why Channel 7 and News Talk 760 WJR put together a new partnership that can deliver the earliest storm warnings to you in your home or in your car. TV and radio, 24 hours a day. The best tools, the most confident staff, and the most accurate weather warnings anywhere. Now that's really good. The most trusted names on the air, forecasting what's in the air. 
Jerry Hodak and Storm Team 7 with Doppler 7000. Listen on News Talk 760 WJR. See it only on Channel 7. This week's Tucky Tough Guy of the Week is Cedric Irvin, the spectacular sophomore running back from Michigan State. The kid from Miami, Florida, rushed for 89 yards on just 16 carries and scored a touchdown in the victory over Western Michigan last Saturday in East Lansing. And Cedric only played half the game. Cedric Irving, the deserving recipient of the Tuffy Tough Guy of the Week. So Western Michigan. All right, the Wolverines about to open up the season against the University of Colorado. The Buffs have played a game. They won last week at Colorado State. That's a decided advantage for them. Michigan has a lot of young players, especially along the offensive line. I think Colorado's going to win this game. I think it's going to be pretty close, but I think the Buffs have the edge. And I'd be surprised if Michigan won, I guess. But uh, I guess they could. But I think Colorado's going to win a close one. Thanks for watching. I'm Don Shane. Enjoy the football game, everybody. Channel 7's Big Ten Ticket has been brought to you in part by your 31 Metro Detroit Ford dealers. Think Ford first. And by Tuffy Auto Service Centers. When your brakes need help, that's a Tuffy. With 33 Detroit area Tuffy Auto Service Centers, Tuffy does it right. Last week on 7, the news broke. Monday. A victory celebration got way out of control. Wednesday. A cultural clash, and only seven showed up in court. I'm happy. Plus a Frank Turner exclusive, a toxic time bomb in your backyard. Thursday. Danger in your home. Seven alerted you to safety. I just wanted to thank you for saving our life. Watch the team that delivers. Channel 7 Action News. On the next entertainment tonight, Oprah Winfrey and the big decision that could change her life forever. And at the mic with Whitney Houston. Impossible. Only E.T. is behind closed doors of her secret studio session as she sings for Cinderella. Then, exclusive never-before-seen photos of Princess Diana from the photographer that was her dear friend for 20 years. Plus, E.T.'s your host at the hottest after Emmy party on entertainment tonight. That's E.T. weeknights at 7.30 on Channel 7. Nissan has just created a minor miracle. A new Altima that's roomier, quieter, and sleeker than ever before. But the miraculous part is that while they've raised the bar, they've done it without raising the price. The new Nissan Altima, starting at 15,000. 17,990 with a lot of stuff. An inside look at the Wings training camp, late night Sunday. Oh, what a pass. The youngest champion. The man is incredible. Evan Smith. What an old finish. This is ABC Sports. Finally, the 97 college football season has arrived in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The children were surely beginning to wonder if Santa was going to be late this year. The trees are still leaf-laden and green, but we'll knock a few of those leaves off this afternoon as the Colorado Buffaloes come in to challenge the Michigan Wolverines. Hello again, everybody. I'm Keith Jackson, and the sun has just broken through to give us a bright, shiny day for the opening of the season in Ann Arbor. This matchup between Michigan and Wolverines and the uh, Colorado Buffaloes have provided remarkable finishes in their last two games. No reason not to think we won't have it again today. It's a pole game. You win, you go up. You lose, you don't go down a whole lot. In today's game, we will see surely a young man who is already an All-American who will be playing both ways for these Michigan Wolverines. He is cornerback Charles Woodson, a 20-year-old junior from Fremont, Ohio. He makes tackles. He he intercepts passes. He catches passes. He returns punts, and he does carry a pump. His coaches call him the best player in college football. But today, he's going to be challenged by a man wearing the white shirt, number seven, quarterback John Hessler, and his Colorado Buffalo receivers will challenge Charles Woodson, and they beat him for a touchdown a year ago. Individually and collectively, this is an exciting college football game waiting to be played. Right now, we join our studio in New York. 